literally used to have like 20 something Louis Vuitton handbags. And right now my collection is down to five. Hey guys, so excited to have you here. Welcome back to the channel, the Stella Conley channel. Over the years, I feel like I have tried so many different styles of handbags from Louis Vuitton. I mean, I literally tried the backpacks. I've tried the hard-sided handbags that are really, really heavy. I've tried the denim. I've tried vintage, limited edition. I feel like I've tried it all. And these were really the handbags that made it in my collection that really just have worked so well for me, for my lifestyle and that are just like my all-star bags, my favorite bags from Louis Vuitton. Of course, let's start with my favorite Louis Vuitton handbag that I've ever had, that I probably ever will have. I'm just obsessed with this bag. This is the Speedy Nano. I've had this for over three years. Such a hard bag to get. In the end, my friend had to actually help me out. I know I've told you guys this story, but my friend was actually offered this bag. She was a longtime customer at the Louis Vuitton store inside of Macy's on 34th Street in New York City. And her sales associate offered her this. And she turned around and texted me to come to the store because she wanted to show me something. I don't remember what she said to text me, but I lived really close. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll pop right on over. And I went over and the sales associate showed it to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my. And she's like, I'm offering it to you. I was like, stop. Are you, like, are you kidding me? Are you sure? Like, you know what? You've both been like looking for this bag for so long. Like, are you sure you don't want it? And she was like, I'll get another one. This one's for you. And I love the sentiment behind this bag, like the generosity of my friend and how like she <laughs> surprised me. I just really loved it. So this bag just, this bag just holds such a sentimental value in my heart and to me. And she was offered another one like a month later. Like she was a really good customer. So they're like, here, take as many of these little nanos that you want. It's just a really hard handbag to get. And it makes it, I think a little bit, more special when you do finally get it. You're just like, oh my gosh, I have it. It's my unicorn. I do definitely recommend getting a bag organizer for this bag because if you don't, it's just gonna squish up on you whenever you put any of your stuff inside of it. So I always store it with a bag organizer and I always wear it with a bag organizer. Is it that classic speedy shape with the bag organizer? You kind of have to put your cell phone in diagonal, but it will fit a full size cell phone in there, which is like one of the best qualities of this bag because it's so tiny and petite and you would think like it doesn't fit a cell phone, but it does. I've gotten so much use out of this little bag in the past three years. I think it's held up really well. I do, I do as I'm like looking at it a little bit closer, I do have a few little water spots and some dirt on the little handles but I don't mind. I just, I want to wear this bag. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to baby it. I want to wear it. I want to enjoy it. I want to smile every time I think about how I got it and think of my friends. Only thing with this bag is that I wish the straps were removable or detachable. Uh, they did come out with a new one of these and I don't know if going forward now that they're always going to have the detachable straps. But I did talk to my sales associate and I was like, is it worth it? Like, should I get that one? But then I kind of thought about it and I was like, no, cause it's not gonna be this bag. And I don't want to let this one go. I don't wanna rehome it. Like I wanna keep this bag forever. So I would definitely say this is my absolute favorite Louis Vuitton handbag. I would encourage anyone to try to get this one either from the boutique or pre-loved. And I know these are marked up pretty high on the pre-love market, but they are, they're like a Birkin. Like they are so hard to get in the boutique that like the price, the marked up price on the pre-love market is almost justifiable. <laughs> Next bag that has stayed with me for over three years and has made it in my forever collection with Louis Vuitton is my Alma BB. And this is in the black epi leather. And if you're gonna get an Alma BB, I'm gonna say get it in the black epi leather. This is just, it's so timeless, it's beautiful. I've had this one for over three years and it looks brand new. Like you, like this you can tell I've used it. Like this is patinaed, this has water spots, it's got some like little damage. Like you can tell you've had this for a while. This bag literally 
literally looks brand new. The only area that you're really gonna see use on this bag is gonna be here along the bottom because this is like a, this is a very smooth leather like strip down here. So if you scratch it, you definitely are gonna be able to see it. But I have traveled with this. I took this bag to Egypt with me several years ago and it walked all around the pyramids with me. It went to dinners. It was, I constantly had it. I wore it crossbody with the strap that it comes with during the day. And then at night, I just took the strap off and just used it as a cute like top handle bag. And, and I still, like it still looks so new to me. Oh, you're, you're also gonna see a little bit of wear on the bottom here on the feet where you actually like set it down on a table because that's gonna just constantly be hitting the table or, or whatever you're putting it, whatever surface you're putting it on. And now that I look at the bottom, I am seeing a little, like just a few little scratches. I don't even know if the camera can like seriously pick that up because it's just, it's so little. Like there's, hard, there's hardly any signs of use on this bag. The thing that I love the most about the Epi leather is that it's not so loud like in your face. Like, hi, I'm a Louis Vuitton handbag. Welcome to the party. Hello, how are you? It's just like, hi, yeah. I'm an LV bag, but you know, whatever, no big deal. And it's just like, I just love that about this bag. It's so classy and beautiful. Also this bag, Louis Vuitton made this bag for Coco Chanel. So, I mean, that's another just like, oh my gosh, like this bag was made for Coco herself. Like, hello, she wanted timeless, classy, beautiful, but this one won't leave my collection. I love this bag. Next bag that made the cut here is the Vavin PM. It's like V-A-V-I-N. I don't know how to say the name of this bag because it's from 2002. It's a, definitely a vintage bag. It's over 20 years old. And I was never able to go to the store and actually get the bag from the store. So I, I don't actually know how to say the name properly. I can't even believe this bag is 20 years old. Like the way that Louis Vuitton used to make their canvas in, to, in the early 2000s is so different than the way they make their canvases, their canvas now. And I heard so many like rumors and reasons why they changed their canvas. I don't know if it was cost or I don't know if people really were complaining that this canvas was too thick and it would crack and it wasn't like more squishy like this, like this canvas, it might crack, but it would take a really long time because it's so squishy and mushy and it just kind of flows with you. Whereas this canvas is so thick. It's like armor. It's so thick that like I could see this canvas over time cracking or something happening to it. But this bag is 20 years old and, and literally it's like, this is the type of bag that like, you don't, if you set it down, it's not gonna flop in. It's not gonna flop over like a Neverfull or other tote bags that Louis Vuitton has made. Like this is so structured and I love that about this bag. And of course the inside has like almost like a built in uh, organizer inside of here. Cause you can put stuff in this back pocket. Then there's, there's like pockets on all four sides of this bag. And then there's also a zip compartment in here that you can put little things in there. This is not one I have to baby. This is definitely one that it, it just, it just goes with me in my life. It works. It's over 20 years old and it's just perfect. I, I can't even believe it. This was a bag that I never even knew that like I wanted or it was never like on my radar. I, I remember I was just on Fashion File one day and I saw this bag, like I was just going through the newest bags and I saw this one come up and I was like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love that little bag. And I bought it on a whim. I was just like, you know, if I don't like it, I got 30 days, I can return it. I, I don't have to keep it. And when I got it, I was like, I felt like I hit the jackpot. I was like, this is such a cool little bag. And I've had it now for several years and it has like held up. And if I ever do really mess up the Vachetta leather here, if I do get caught in a rainstorm or something, this is easy to replace. Like this isn't a lot of Vachetta. This is just a little bit. And I know that I could take that to Louis Vuitton and get that get that switched out, but I don't want to. I like love it the way it is. 
even when these straps like turn black, I think I'll still keep them because I just love this little bag as is. All right, next we have my Palm Springs Mini. From the moment I saw this bag, I fell in love. It reminded me of Clueless. It reminded me of Cher wearing her little backpack with all her little friends. You know, the tiny little backpack trend that was so popular back then. And I just knew that, I, that this was a bag that I had to have in my collection. This is my second Palm Springs Mini. The first Palm Springs Mini that I had was the reverse monogram. And I was never quite in love with the reverse monogram. I I'm not sure why. I guess I just don't like it as much as I just like the classic, beautiful classic monogram. I just, I just, this is my favorite. And it took me a few tries of buying reverse monogram handbags to realize that like, no, those aren't for me. It is 100%, it's regular old, good old regular monogram. <laughs> but I was able to trade the reverse monogram one for this bag because it was the old style zipper and that zipper constantly got caught on the top lip. So Louis Vuitton did a redesign because so many people were taking their bags in because that zipper was just, it just wasn't designed very well the first time around. So they redesigned it with the zipper here now being on the outside. It's just so much easier now to open the bag and get your stuff and get in here and close it and you don't have to worry about that lip being over. So my sales associate offered me a trade my old reverse monogram for a newer one with the new zipper. And I was like, okay, but can I get the regular monogram? I don't really like the reverse monogram. She's like, sure. I think it's even a hundred dollars less. So you'll get a credit in your account. I was like, oh my gosh, score, thank you. I definitely feel like this is a classic Louis Vuitton handbag. I don't think they'll ever discontinue this one because it's just so classic. It's so cute. It's a really good travel bag as well because you can wear it so many different ways because all of the straps are removable. I'm looking at you, Nano Speedy. You know what I just thought of? Like literally this strap, if I did ever cut the straps off this Nano Speedy, which I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I mean, I might, I would put it past me, but I wouldn't. You could literally, <laughs> put this strap on it and adjust it. Oh my gosh, I'm over here like Frankenstein, my handbags. <laughs> but yeah, I love the Palm Springs Mini. Such a classic and definitely think it'll stay in my collection forever, forever. Okay, this is the fifth Louis Vuitton handbag in my collection, but it's actually not in my collection. <laughs> I'm actually selling this bag. I already have a quote from Fashion File and Rebag. And I think I'm gonna go with Rebag because I'm gonna get the store credit and trade for a different bag, not a Louis Vuitton bag. Uh, so, I'm, so I am going to sell this one. This one is leaving my home. I love the look of this bag. I love the look so much. I've only had this handbag for five months and typically I like to keep a bag between six months to a year before I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to get rid of this bag. But I walked into the Louis Vuitton store the other day, <laughs> I'm looking at it, and this was on the shelf and I was like, does anybody else see that bag? <laughs> like, am I the only one seeing this bag? I was like, is that available for purchase? And the guy's like, yeah, it's available. Do you want to see it? I'm like, Yes, <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take it. <laughs> I got the Diane bag, so that's actually the fifth Louis Vuitton handbag in my collection. And I will tell you guys, there's nothing wrong with the loot bag. I love the look of it. I think it's so cute, it's so adorable. I love that it comes with two different straps, so you can wear it so many different ways. And this strap is adjustable, so you wear it crossbody, you can wear it short, short, short shoulder, long shoulder length. You can wear it with just this one, which is actually my favorite way to wear it with just this little gold one. I think it's so adorable, but it is a hard bag to fit a lot of stuff in it. And the zipper, I will tell you, it's not an easy glide slipper, it, slipper <laughs> zipper. It is a harder, it's a little bit harder to open and close this zipper. Probably would have kept this bag, but once I saw the Diane bag, I was like, okay, that's gonna fit everything. It's kind of the same style as this, just a little shoulder bag. 
and it's just gonna fit everything that I need it to fit and I think I'm gonna go in that direction. <laughs> I think it's such an adorable, cute little bag. But I just want a bag that just has a little bit more room. I feel like I'm carrying a little bit more nowadays, randomly, which I don't know like why I'm just like wanting to take my whole house with me when I leave the house now a days. <laughs> the Diane bag. <laughs> I like literally can't even believe I got it and I got it in the black color. So when I walked into the store and I saw this on the shelf, it was actually the hot pink one. Cause I was like, oh, can I see that? And the guy's like, yeah, sure. You can see it. He brought it down. And when I opened it, I was like, oh, please be black, please be black. And it was hot pink. And I was like, ah, oh, I like the pink color, but I just, I like classic black. Like I just love the classiness to the black and I love the strap. I'm not like a big guitar strap type of girl. I'm not sure I'll ever actually wear this, but I'm glad that this is at least a color wave that I would consider wearing. And then I asked him, I was like, do you happen to have the same bag, but with the black interior? And he's like, I don't think so. I'm surprised we even have this one. He's like, but let me check in the system. So he checked in this, checked on his little iPhone thing. And he's like, it says we have one. And he's like looking through all the drawers, like searching around. And then he's like, oh, here it is. It was like, wait, are, is this Louis Vuitton's like new selling strategy? Like, oh no, we definitely don't have it. We do oh wait, we have one in the system. Where is it though? I think the system's wrong. Oh, randomly, look, here it is. Now you can buy it. <laughs> this could be my conspiracy theory, but I don't know you guys. Um, but, and then when I saw this with the black interior, I was like, yes, sold. There's so much room in here. And then there's, there's another pocket behind here and there's a pocket in the back. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I love that it can fit your phone. This bag is so user friendly. I think this is one of the best designed handbags that Louis Vuitton has done in a really long time. It's very practical, it's very user friendly, and it has kind of like this vintage vibe to it too. I, I'm just like really, really loving it. This bag is what I wanted the loop to be. I wanted the loop to fit a little bit more and be a little bit more user friendly, but it, but it, I didn't find that it was for me. I'm hoping this will be a forever bag, but I've, I haven't even used it yet. I've literally had it for like a week. So this is a brand new potentially forever bag. Those are my five absolute most favorite Louis Vuitton handbags. Well, those are my four most absolute favorite and we're gonna see if the Diane is gonna make it to the top but I can kind of already tell it. I just, I've had so many Louis Vuitton handbags. I've tried so many different styles. I kind of already know like it's gonna be amazing until it's not five months from now. <laughs> just kidding. Let me know what your guys' favorite Louis Vuitton handbag is of all time and why and do I need to add it to my collection? No. No, I want to stay at five. I don't want any more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.